It's gotta be Sarah C, and it's time for another makeup tutorial. This week's look is one I originally created for a contest on Instagram, and my followers really responded to it, so I decided to do a tutorial for you guys. I call this my crystal witch, but it would also work for a demon character. If you'd like to learn how to recreate this look, keep on watching. After I've blocked out and concealed my eyebrows, I mix my everyday foundation with a purple tone corrector to get a whiter, more dead shade, and apply it to my face, neck, and chest. Then I powder everything so it's matte and won't move. Next, I use eyeshadow in the shade of purple that appears in bruises to shade in and around my eye sockets. I use the same shade to create a veining or marbling pattern on my face. I use patting motions very similar to in my Weeping Angel tutorial. I also use this shade to contour my nose. I go back in with a more wine-colored eyeshadow to darken the eye sockets and a few places on my pattern. You want the pattern to look very natural and organic, so don't worry about symmetry. Then I use black eyeshadow to shade the centers of the eye sockets. I use the purple bruise shade again to contour my smile lines. I also use it to contour my cheeks so they look more sunken in. And last, I use it to shade my temples. I use the wine shade in the same areas but more concentrated to begin to add some dimension. Then, I use black eyeshadow to make those areas really start to look sunken in. I also use the black to add in wrinkles on my nose and brow and under eye bags. I want my lips to look dried out and creepy, so I pucker up and pat black eyeshadow over them so the wrinkles are exaggerated. Then I use the black on a detailing brush to add some smoker's wrinkles. Now onto the neck and chest. I start with the purple bruise shade and map out my new sunken in anatomy. Then I go back in with the wine shade and darken up those areas and add in some shadows at the bottoms of the sunken in areas because that's where they'd be the deepest and the darkest. I switch back to the bruise shade to add in the patterning all over my neck and chest. Then I use the wine shade to darken a few areas on the pattern. I use black eyeshadow to darken the edges and shadows to really make my chest look sunken in and sickly. I add some final touches, then pop in the custom crystal dentures I made. Thank you so much for watching my Crystal Witch tutorial. All of the products I use will be listed in the description below. If there's any looks you'd like to see me create, let me know in the comments. To see more of my work, check me out on Instagram and Facebook. Links in the description. If you use any of my tutorials, be sure to tag me on social media. I'd love to see your recreations, and I will see you next time.